All right, there's a little video on drum racks. Got Ableton Live 7. Started up here. I've got a drum rack I've already worked on. I've called it Kick. Kick Rack. Uh, basically, it's got uh, a bunch of samples. Keyboard here, all the way up. All kinds. Happy little stuff. All right. So how I made this? Some of you may know this, some of you don't. But I'm just gonna do it anyways for the ones that don't. And the ones that do, I don't know. Maybe you might pick up a little something. So anyways. What I'm going to do is start off by making another MIDI track. And we're going to go to the devices. I'm going to put a generic drum rack. Either double click it or drag it as it were. So now we've got a virgin drum rack. No samples. A couple of basic simplers stuck in there. In this area you can see in the white area and the gray area there's nothing so I like to start off right at the bottom this is the lowest uh, register on my keyboard I don't know about yours but uh, on mine the C minus 2 oh I'm still playing the kicks okay so now I'm gonna continue on and uh, make a complimentary drum rack that's all my kicks I'm gonna make some uh, hi-hats so uh, bring it down to my files I've got a folder over here for hats I don't know if you guys saw that hats just a whole whack of hats so just doing a little sample so that's all the different hats right so Basically, what you guys know is you can take a sample, drop it down, and boyashaka, you've, uh, where is it? Oh, that's, where are you? Where are you? Oh, all the way down. Okay, there we go. And you can grab another one and sample it. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it sounds nice. Now, you can do that if you want, and listen to the ones you want. It's like, oh yeah, that's fantastic, but it takes forever. Uh, another way to do it is the hot swap. So, you press the hot swap button, once, not twice, and it brings you automatically to the sample in which you're using. Now, you can either double click, and it replaces that sound with a new one. See how the play button is pushed when I hit my MIDI keyboard. So it's changing that sound. Or you could use your keyboard by just pressing up or down and then enter. And then boy you go. New sample. Now, what a nice little tidbit is uh, when you got a whole whack of samples as I got here. I may even have actually too many to fit, but uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do. So you just select on uh, one and uh, work your way down. Hold the shift key. Same for Mac and Windows on that one. And press the bottom one. So you just select the top one. Or any one you want, really. And let's say we'll go down here just for sake of purpose. We'll come right down. We won't go to the very bottom. And I'm not holding on anything right now. So now hold down the shift. Press it. And everything in between is selected. Now you're saying, well, whoop de do. Well, since everything is selected, I can move them. That's group. So I'll hold on to that selected area anywhere 
and you can see I can drag it down. Now obviously I've got way too many samples to fit in here, but that's fine. It'll just put in as many as it'll it'll fit. Or maybe it won't. <laughs> so let's start off here. Work our way to here. Try dragging those suckers in. Oh really? You're gonna be like that, are you? Oh. Alright, note to self edit that out. Well, it looks like you cannot um put them in already selected squares. So let's try this again. Empty slot. Boom. Okay, so that works good. So now all of these squares have been selected uh, with a hi-hat that are in white. So... Anyways. So... Let's try that again. I'll get rid of all this. And let's do this again right from the top. Just to show people. I'm sure you got it, but you know, hey. And select shift, hold shift down, put down, grab a shaded area, bring the squares. Alright, so that's what it was. You cannot select or place any of these uh, fancy doodads on an existing square has to be on a blank square and then uh, bada boom as you can see hats galore alright well that's it of this one uh, next one I'll put a clap and uh, I'll do start doing some sequencing okay but that's it here's your simple tutorial or video on drum racks okay Ciao for now.